YouTube channel, I'm Sharperia White, and today I want to talk about the dangers of complete isolation. So how many of you guys, if you're a little bit like me, when you're going through something, you want to isolate yourself from the world? I mean, seriously, you just like, I've had it, you know, I just want to be by myself. Okay, now granted, it's okay. We all need our personal space, right? It's, it's okay, right? But sometimes it's dangerous when you want to completely isolate yourself because I feel like when you do that, that's a way that you kind of just give the enemy just basically a heyday with your mind with your emotions with everything because you just stay at home you stay you're locked up in your room you know you're depressed and you might not think you're depressed at first but slowly but surely things are just getting out of control and the first thing sometimes we do is stop going to church we don't want to be around you know our brothers and sisters in christ or our family members or if we have friends and again i'm a firm believer that everybody needs personal space Everybody needs sometimes just a break to get their thoughts together, get their spirits together, spend time with God. It, it's okay. But when you're really going through something and you really don't want to be around anybody and you do it for a really long time, I feel that it's really dangerous because that's what Satan wants to do, divide and conquer the body of Christ. You don't want to fellowship with anybody, so you stay to yourself while the enemy's dumping all these lies and toxic thoughts and emotions in your head. Granted, um, we know how to fight spiritually. We know how that it's a spiritual battle. And if you don't, uh, you can watch one of my videos that talks about uh, the spiritual warfare. But again, even in that, we need each other. And it's okay to have your alone time with the Lord because truly, sometimes only the Lord can help you. But your brothers and sisters in Christ, those that you know who can pray for you, encourage you, that could just hold you accountable, that can just check on you periodically, it's important to not like completely isolate yourself from them. Again, I'm a firm believer in personal space and some time to yourself. But when you're going through it the most, that's the time that we want to disengage the most and that's the time that we need each other the most. And though I'm not always just talking about going to church, going to church, going to church because no, I'm not all, even talking about that. But even people when you're not at church that's in your life, hopefully in your close circle, you have a body of believers, people that believe in the Lord and his word and can encourage you that are also partners in the faith with you so that when you're going through something, they can pray for you or just be there for you. So again, when you're going through something, we all go through stuff. It's all right to take your two seconds to get yourself back in the game, get your mind right, but don't completely just isolate yourself from everybody. Again, those who love you, you need them, even if it's just so they can pray for you. And again, I'm not even just talking about being at church all the time, but again, just fellowshipping with your brothers and sisters in Christ, your family members that love you, that can pray for you, so that they can also pump the word into you. The word of God tells us that iron sharpens iron, so if you're down, they should be able to pick you up and vice versa, and we need that. And again, I told you I'm guilty of it. I, sometimes I just don't want to be bothered. Sometimes you're just in a mood and that's okay, but don't stay there. All right. So I love you guys. I hope this has encouraged you that if you're going through something, don't completely isolate yourself and cut yourself off from everybody, especially for long periods of times. It's dangerous. The enemy wants to destroy you in that isolation and the devil is a liar. Do not allow him to lie to you and to continue to just give you toxic thoughts, whatever those thoughts might be, to destroy you. So again, give it a thumbs up if it's encouraged you. Subscribe below so you don't miss any more videos but also if you're interested in blogs i talk about faith um, love and self-love at sharpria.com also if you're single go to sing on satisfied movement.com to check us out or join our single and satisfied facebook group so you don't miss any of our events or upcoming challenges or activities or studies so i love you guys hope to see you soon bye